Yes, I spoke with his nephew Cliff, who's the son of Joe's sister. He says they're all just in disbelief that someone would post something like this, especially someone they don't even know, and say this on top of not being able to properly grieve due to COVID-19 just makes it that much harder to move on. Joe Diffie, a popular country singer and Oklahoma native, <laughs> described as selfless and someone who made everyone feel welcomed and loved by those who knew him best. You never knew he was famous. He was everybody's buddy and, and everybody always wanted to be around him. When he was diagnosed with coronavirus, in March, his family had high hopes he'd pull through. We just thought, oh, he's a tough old bird like the you know the rest of the Diffies. But things started to take a toll. His family heartbroken to hear he died. It's just been sad. It's been awful. On top of not being able to hold a memorial service or get together to grieve due to COVID-19, strangers are sharing conspiracy theories about his death, saying he died from lung cancer and that his death is a scam for hospital funding. This one shared more than 142,000 times. It was pretty hurtful, you know, when I and I had. Uh, to deflect, you know, a lot of um, emails, texts, and, and phone calls and try to keep them away from my, you know, my family. But then all of a sudden, you know, everybody in my family started getting the same things. And so it was terrible. One thing you told me earlier when we talked on the phone was that you saw his death certificate and saw the cause of death being COVID-19. For someone to share something like this and it blow up, what's your message to that person and those entertaining it? I, I can't explain to you how surreal that made it all. That, that All that stuff is on there and it's, and I mean, it's real. Um, I don't care what anybody says. You know, I'm as skeptical as anybody, I promise you, but this stuff is real. In Oklahoma City, Portia Riley, KOCU 5 News.